Okay, so you might wonder when a topographic map is really important, and this is what a real topographic map looks like, and this is a piece from the Adirondacks, and I'm going to be showing you some pictures and some uh, some real, real views from my daughter's first hike um, in the Adirondacks. So we started the hike, it wasn't that steep, and then we start crossing those lines. Now when you cross these lines, that means you're going uphill. So we do a nice gradual uphill, and then right here it gets really steep, a little bit, and then our first peak is right peak. Now look how many lines you cross here. So I'm, the first video I'm going to show you is my daughter summiting this peak right here called right peak. Avalanche Pass, Algonquin Peak, sorry, which is the second highest peak in the Adirondacks. Uh, one, the only higher peak is Mount Marcy, which is over here. But we're back over here, our right peak, our Algonquin Peak, and 5,114 feet. And the picture you're going to see of uh, Grace and I standing on top, with, and in the background, you're going to see uh, Colden Mountain right here. And you're going to see Marcy way in the background. We're going to show you uh, one of the steepest trails in the Adirondacks and I want you to see how many lines you're passing as you go down this. Look at this. Each of these lines, and we'll tell you that contour interval in just a second. So each one of those lines is 20 feet, okay, and one inch is a mile. So this whole section here is just over a mile. We're gonna hike up this valley. You notice you're not crossing many lines. So you're hiking flat up this valley. But take a look on either side of this valley. See how steep, how packed the lines are? This is called Avalanche Pass. It's like two, this is so steep, the, you're gonna see that the wall of rock goes right into the water here. And you actually have to walk on the side of the rocks. And we'll You're going to see a couple views from the beginning or the end of the lake looking backwards and you can see both cliffs on either side. So these are very important when you're planning hikes or if you ever got lost in the woods and you have one of these maps you can kind of look and see. You can find the different mountains, you can kind of see where you're at and uh, help you get away. So if you're ever going to learn one type of map, a topographic map is the one that could actually save your life. So I hope you enjoy the pictures and the uh, little virtual tour and uh, get out there and hike. And uh, get out there and hike.